535 fentanyl is becoming an increasingly big problem in our communities, especially with young people. That's why one county, Fairfax County, uh, the supervisor there is hosting a town hall about it today. Now that town hall will be at Lake Braddock Secondary School in just about 12 hours, and that's where we find our Jess Arnold this morning. Jess, what's the goal for this town hall tonight? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the supervisor says he wants to make the community parents students aware of just how dangerous fentanyl can be. He said, you know, you don't know anymore what you're getting when those young people are out there purchasing these drugs. Fentanyl could be mixed in without you having any idea. Now, Supervisor Pat Harity, who is co-leading this town hall with a school board member, says that they'll be talking about the increase they've seen in the community and what people can do about it. That's an increase in overdoses. Now, he said that they'll have a panel of experts and someone living with an addiction. Just last week, the supervisor's chair sent out an update on the impact of opioids in Fairfax County. He shared that last year saw more than 300 non-fatal overdoses and 45 fatal overdoses, many connected to fentanyl. And that's just for Fairfax County. Now they also, uh, the county actually reports that fentanyl is now the leading cause of death for U.S. adults under 50. It's being put in everything and, and it only takes a small amount to kill you. So you can be, you can be taking something you think is okay for you and it's laced with fentanyl and you end up overdosing, which is why having, you know, the naloxone around is so helpful. Uh, even if you don't think that your kids are into drugs, you never know. And Jess, we just heard from Supervisor Harity there, and he mentioned the lack zone. Is the county offering trainings on that? Yeah, he said that they're actually going to be doing a naloxone training at this town hall here behind me tonight, and everyone who attends will get some naloxone to take home with them. Now, our team also spoke with Fairfax County Public Schools last month, and they told them that every single one of their schools now also carries naloxone in the buildings. Annie. All right, Jess Arnold, thank you.